In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for I minus. This is the iodide ion. So to do this, we first should write the electron configuration just for neutral iodine. So when we think about neutral iodine, like it's found on the periodic table, we don't have a negative or a positive sign after it. It's not an ion. So with neutral iodine or any neutral element on the periodic table, the atomic number here, that's the number of protons, that'll equal the number of electrons. That's why it's neutral. So we have 53 electrons to write the configuration for iodine, just neutral iodine. That'll look like this. So you can use a chart like this here to figure out the electron configuration. There's a link in the description on how to do that. Or you can use the periodic table. I think this is probably better because it helps you see the patterns. So as we look at the periodic table here, we start off, we have 53 total electrons for the iodine electron configuration. We have 1s1, 1s2, s only holds up to 2, so we have our 1s2. Then we go to 2s2, 2p, p holds up to 6, so we have 2p6. And we keep going till we get to our electron configuration for iodine. And we know it ends in 5p5 because we come down here to the fifth row, the fifth period. We go across 5p1, 2, 3, 4, there's iodine. So we know we stop at 5p5. And if we add up all of the electrons here in the superscript, we'll get 53. This is the electron configuration for iodine, neutral iodine. But we wanted the iodide ion, I minus. So let's do that. So for the iodide ion, I minus, when we see a negative, we've gained an electron. We've gained a negative charge. So what we need to do, instead of 53, we have 54. And we're going to put it right here, 5p6. So now we have 5p6 as our last term. This is the electron configuration for the iodide ion. Note that we still have 53 protons. The only thing that's changed is the number of electrons. So it's still iodine, but it's an ion of iodine. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for I minus, the iodide ion. Thanks for watching.